Welcome in. Hope everybody's doing well today. Hope everybody is doing well. We're going to get started right away. It's been a while since I touched this world, so it's going to be interesting to see where we left off and what to do here. Uh, microphone should be working. Um, OBS is picking up. No Spotify today because we're going to listen to the banger Hollow Knight music in-game. And then I just need my Hollow Knight sound, which if we switch back to Hollow Knight... There we go. Hollow Knight. Um, OBS is not liking the switching. But you should be hearing Hollow Knight music now. Hopefully it's working. And we left off at around five and a half, over five and a half hours last time, so we're gonna continue that speedrun timer. YouTube is working fine. Thank you, GB1 Reinwald. Hope you're doing well. So yeah, I guess we're just gonna get started here. Let's load into Stardew first. Once I hit load, the speedrun timer can resume. All right, three, two, one, go. Oh, I need to open up live split and actually press it there. My bad. Um, how do we do this? Live split. There we go. It's going now. Okay, okay. We're in go mode now. <laughs> Not go mode in the sense of we're ready to win, but go mode in the sense that we are beginning now. And I think we want to begin in Hollow Knight. Your voice is kind of difficult to understand. Um, should I move my mic closer? It might be the microphone. Let me know if this is better, GB on Reinwald. I was also talking in this direction as opposed to this direction where my microphone's over here. So Hollow Knight music is rather loud. Okay, let's go fix that. I don't mind that the speedrun timer is going while we're setting things up. It's fine. Okay, OBS is having trouble switching to Hollow Knight for some reason. Let's make sure that Hollow Knight's not too loud. Okay. Okay, it's still not switching. And for some reason, when I... Okay, there we go. I'm gonna just have to manually switch it, most likely, to Hollow Knight. Options, audio... Let's do music volume down to like a five. Keep the sound effects loud. I believe that should be a little bit better. All right, so I believe it's this third file here that we have to resume. Um, I'm guessing the port's the same. I don't think the port has changed. Okay, so we recently got the left mantis claw and the right mantis claw, which means we can wall jump in any direction so there is quite a bit to do in Hollow Knight and I don't know if we just want to hint like what we have left like hint possibly the three dreamers in order to get here because we need in order to get into the black egg temple we need Hera, Manoman, and Lurian which are three dreamers I don't know if I even have one of them, but we can check real quick on our tracker. I'm gonna do hints. This is at the bottom right of my screen right now if you're paying attention and want to see what I'm doing. But it's hints. I guess we'll start with Monoman. Okay, so we don't have Monoman, or else it would have showed us. We don't have Lurian. And... We don't have Hera. We don't have any of the three dreamers, which we need these three things. They're called dreamers in order to beat the game. So that's what we need to beat Hollow Knight. And we're far away from hint points. In Stardew... Yeah, this seed, Casper, this seed was a crazy seed. We just got the Mantis Claw, so we can start to have the world opened in Hollow Knight. In Stardew, however, 
Our goal, I believe, is not the community center. I believe the goal is shipping everything. Let me double check that. I think I have it on my YouTube description here, like the basic, um, yeah, shipping every crop. Shipping every crop in Stardew. So, in order to do that, we need all four seasons for each of the forageables. Let me just sleep through the rest of spring and see what seasons we have, I suppose. Multiple day sleep costs, that's fine. This is what happens when you try to pick up a world um, that's like two weeks old. Not much of a speed run anymore, but we'll still see how fast we can beat it. Yeah, this seed was kind of insane. Almost as insane as the race that I did. Fortune teller. We have the greenhouse, apparently. Anything growing in here? Oh, I think we got hit by a crow's trap. I remember that. Tomatoes are our big money maker. We also have fruit tree fruit. I'm guessing that cauliflower is probably new once that grows. So we're not growing anything outside. We're growing everything in the greenhouse, which makes it a little bit easier. Oak resin. Why am, am I tapping oak resin? That's kind of random. I'm guessing we can sell most of this stuff. Um, apricots are needed for a bundle. I'm guessing only one of them. Anything else needed for bundles? We can sell everything else. We have a bunch of coffee, but we haven't shipped a coffee bean? I must have just bought all the coffee from the saloon or something. Hmm. Yeah, everything's automated, which is nice. What do we have going on here? We've got... Oh, the coffee maker. The coffee maker. That's why we have so much coffee. That makes sense. Hello, Mystic Berry. Hope you're doing well. Um, this was just for smelting. We have our fruit trees here. I guess let's just see what seasons we have. <laughs> I guess the next best option is just to do a little Hollow Knight and just like get checks done. Because we can't really focus either game right now. We just need hint points. Okay. The only thing is, if I'm in spring right now, have I shipped a morel? It doesn't look like I've shipped a morel. Let's check the secret woods before spring ends. Although I don't have... I need a chair. I don't have the steel axe. It would be nice if you could deconstruct coffee into seeds. That would be very nice. Should have gotten the tractor mod for this save, because look at the farm, it's a mess. We can check our calendar, see what traveling cart days we have, but apparently we have Sunday. Um, do I have a seed maker? Cave carrot, cranberries. If I have a seed maker, cranberries are really good. Bok choy. I'll buy the cranberries just in case I have a seed maker. And ship Sandy Bok Choy. I have to ship one as well. Why not? It leaves us with only 10% stock, but I think it's worth it. And I don't have my... No, okay, there's my pickaxe. We just have four rows of inventory. Alright, there's a lucky morale, thankfully. Do I have the return scepter? I do have the return scepter. Cool. Level 8 forging got us a luck bonus. Um, I guess I will chop the stumps while I'm here. For the XP. So that morale is technically out of logic, but we do have to ship it. And shipping it is a check, so I think that's a good thing. 
We've got those cranberries and bok choy, which we should turn into seeds if we can. If we have a seed maker. Um, I don't think I have a seed maker. So I may hint that. Oh, we have lots of points for a hint. Yeah, I'm hinting a seed maker for sure. Is that Lurian? We might be able to get that. So the Lurian check has something pretty good. Interesting. Apparently I haven't shipped a wild horseradish. Apparently I have shipped a morel. Strange. But I don't want to ship these. I want to save these for the seed maker. That seed maker might be the only way to get ancient seeds as well. If I, if that's something I'm gonna have to hint. Um, ancient seed. Hint. Hello, conquerors. Hope you're doing well. <laughs> Good luck on this seed. Yeah, this seed's kind of crazy. So I do need all the luck I can get. Um, is there no ancient seed? I guess ancient seed doesn't exist. It's gonna be like the race where I have to find the ancient seed the natural way. Which is a little unfortunate. I'm not a big fan of that. Okay, anything... Let's take off this lightning rod. Place it here. Move this chest over. Actually, no, let's move this. I'm tr I'm just trying to stay organized here. Put all of our junk in this chest. And then keep the automate chest empty. Although we need something to connect it, so oil maker, sure. Okay. And I could also sell like half the coffee for a bunch of money. Okay, have we shipped all of the spring forgeables? Um, we're about to ship the wild horse rash, so yes. What seasons do we have? We have all four seasons, so we're pretty good in Stardew. Let's do summer in case I need to catch fish. Or what what season do you think um would be best to go into? I feel like I've probably done everything, and we could always just sleep through, but let's do summer. The first one that... Oh, taxes? Just as I sell my money, I make my big amount of money here, we get hit with the taxes trap, and that's probably going to be in the mail the next day. Yeah, I'll check if I have the fragile charms in Hollow Knight. Let's go back into Hollow Knight for a second. Okay, to switch, I have to do it like this. I have to click Hollow Knight, and then do my thing. Okay. Alright, so do we have Fragile Charms? Can we check the Divine? We can. And I think if I remember correctly, I have to do like one at a time, right? Lewis being Lewis, indeed. Oh wait, we're not... We Do we have the dream now? We do have the dream now. Okay, I'm gonna worry about that later. I'm gonna go focus Lurian. Okay, what did I have equipped? Quick focus, sure, I like quick focus. Market pride for only two is pretty decent. Um, Grub Song is okay. High blood is nice. I will take high blood over quick focus. Okay, so Lurian is somewhere over here. Lurian is the Watcher Knight. Watcher Knights are tough, for me at least. But we can access this. Um, we should have King Station Bench. Let's warp over there. City King Station warp. Yeah, I think I have to go Dream now to get the Grim Troop and then they'll appear. Which is fine. Do we have Swim? I am not about to find out. 
I gotta get used to Hollow Knight controls again. Do we have double jump? We do have Monarch Wings. And I think we have left claw, I think we have right claw, and we have right and left dash. So we have basically all of the movement we really need in Hollow Knight. We might not have like Isma's Tear and some of those um like other items, but we have Monarch Wings so we can just jump up here even though we could do the, the little skip without Monarch Wings. Okay, do we have nail arcs? We do have nail arcs, cool. I wanna get the bench here. I was gonna say lever, but I think the lever is above there. Bench there. Kill these guys. We could use the nail upgrade probably for the before we do the watcher knights. Might be wise. While I'm here, I'll at least undo this lever. Okay, we don't have desolate dive. This guy has a lot of health. Wow. All right, there we go. Okay, hit the lever. I'm gonna go up here. Unlock that door as well. I think there's a gate over here as well. Or is this just the bench again? This is the bench again. Okay, we can warp back here. Let's warp over to City Quirrell. And go get at least one nail upgrade. I don't know if I've got any pale ores. Pale ores are what we need for the nail upgrades. Those are, of course, randomized. So if I randomly got some, then good. If not, then we can still get one for free. We can get one nail upgrade for some amount of geo. Let's visit the visit Lem first to get money. Because I will probably need money if I want a second nail upgrade. Which I still don't know if we can get. Uh, we don't have anything. Interesting. That's fine. We have crystal dash. We don't have left crystal dash. We do have right crystal dash. Can we swim? We can swim. That's a good thing. I still hear the Stardew music playing in the background. Luckily, I don't think Chad can hear it. Or else you'd be hearing two at once. Alright, nail upgrade, 150 geo, oh and I think we're like 60 short for the second upgrade, but I think we might have a pale ore. We might be able to grind some enemies real quick and get enough money. Okay, we do have the pale ore, we just need 60 more geo. Let's go kill these guys. Okay, and we have right slash, we don't have left slash, we have down, we have up. We have everything except for left slash. Anybody know of any relics close by that I can grab, like an arcane egg or something? Killing one of those big guards would uh, give me enough money. Let's go find one of them. 
Or these guys drop some money as well. The rich husks. Okay. That's 800 gold. That's enough money. Or geo, not gold. If I was truly speedrunning this, I would not bother with nail upgrades and I just use my spells, but I'm not good. I'm not good enough for that. I need a nail upgrade. It'll ultimately save me time and then because I'll have to not restart as many times after I die. Because the Watcher Knights are a very tough boss for me. Okay, I got the nail upgrade. Now we're broke. Now we warp over to city. Warp over to Watcher Spire. And we're back. I already opened up this door. Um, there is a grub check up here that I can grab. Just have to kill this guy. Kill both of them. Do I have rates? I don't know if I do. I do have Wraiths. Wraiths is good. I have, um, Abyss Shriek. That might help with- Oh, the grub was vanilla. That's no fun. It'd be cool if we just randomly got, like, one of the Dreamers, Lurian, Monoman, or Hera. That's what we need to beat Hollow Knight. There's a little secret up here. Up here. This makes it a little bit easier because we kill one of the Watcher Knights. I think there's six of them. One, two, three, four, five, and then we just killed the sixth one. Because it's a little bit of a head start, makes it a little bit easier. Um, I came in here with not full health. That's not a good idea. Let's try to heal. So it seems easy until two of them start killing us at the same time. That's when things get tricky. We kill them before they kill us. I need to deal a lot of damage with my spells. So much going on on the screen at once. I think we're going to pass out on Stardew pretty soon. Okay, I'm going to... I need to heal. I need to heal. I need some soul. I think we only have the two left, so we're 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 gonna do this hopefully. Unless I get cornered like that. Oh, that spell was just a waste. Oh. 
on our last life here. Come on, the high blood's giving us our energy back. We just need to focus, we just need to focus. I love to such a good start. Okay, if I hit him with an up spell, I should kill him. There we go. Woo! Should give Hal now another try long ago. You played it, you got walled at Hornet. Yeah. The bosses are big walls sometimes. The bosses are tricky. Need a water break after that one. I have a big jug of water here. All right, let's get back to it. So I think this gets us two checks. We got a hollow nest deal, or those aren't randomized. So that one's just vanilla. We got the cherry sapling. I think I've already got the cherry sapling. Might want to enter the house. Good idea, GB1 Reinwald. Good idea. Entering the house. If we pass on the house, we won't lose any money. So that's a good idea. All right, back to Hollow Knight. All right, then we climb the tower. We're gonna take the elevator up. I'm always impatient when I'm climbing the elevator and sometimes I fall off of it. Seed maker. So that's good. We do have to go over here and inspect it. And then we get the seed maker. That's what we were looking for. We hinted that in starter, so now we have it. All right, and now I guess there's not a whole lot to do in Hollow Knight. We can work to a bench. I mean, there's plenty to do on Hollow Knight, but now we can turn our stuff into seeds. There's our seed maker. Now the cranberry and bok choy, wherever I put them. Cranberry and bok choy we can turn into seeds, and automate will do that for us. Cherry sapling, we can put one in the greenhouse. Entering the house did not need a great detour. No, it did not. GB1 Ryan well, no, it did not. So that was a good idea. No idea if any of these crops are new. Cauliflower was new. We got a pressure nozzle from it. Which might be nice for this sprinkler right here. We can move it slightly and then put the pressure nozzle on it tomorrow. So apparently this apricot's needed in a bundle. We have a quality crops bundle. Quality crops, we do. Grapes are probably easiest if we have grapes unlocked or just a single sweet gem berry gold star. Amaranth, we don't have amaranth. Slime farmers bundles and annoying. Cherry, so we're growing a cherry now. We have an apricot. We have peaches. Pretty sure we have peaches. Yeah, we have peaches. Peach, apricot. And then we're growing a cherry. So we can complete the artisan bundle. Shipping the cauliflower is a check. All right, let's plant the new seeds. We got one cranberry seed, but that's okay, because that one regrows. Grapes should be no problem in summer as for- Oh yeah, we can just forage for grapes. Let's sleep till Saturday and do that. That'll be easy for quality crops. 
that's what, three days? Got a discount for the traveling cart. Oh yeah, it depends on how many forging levels I have to see if we will be able to get lucky. Um, level 4 foraging, so we can get some gold stars. It might not be the best way to do it. Alright, bok choys I think need like one more day. Oops, slept till Friday instead of Saturday. I think the bok choys only take like four days. We got the crossroads map. Okay, with our map mod, maps are not useful for Hollow Knight, unfortunately. But shipping them is a check. And yeah, bok choy was not one of them. All right, what else, what else do we do? I guess we can do some mines, a mines run. How are we doing, do we have jades? We're doing fire quartz. We need to get to the frozen floors in order to get jades. We don't have the fortune teller, so I can't rely on doing it on a super luck day. I just have to hope. And do we have the minecart repair? We do have the minecart repair, so that's nice. Let's eat the super meal. Starting on floor 60, Mask Shard for Hollow Knight, that's for health. I guess let's hope for a Jade. We're using a sword, apparently, instead of a club. Progressive movie theater, oh no. We ran into the worst trap from combat levels. The worst trap that there is. Progressive movie theater. Might be able to see the missing bundle tomorrow. Alright, Aquamarine is at least better than Fire Quartz in terms of making money from the Crystallarium. But still, I'm looking for Jades. Skull Key from the Frostbat. Just like that. Skull Key is nice if we have desert access. We can get a few checks from slaying monsters at Skull Cavern. Did I kill a frost slime yet? Yeah, I have. Killing a ghost is not a check, which is always strange. I wonder why Vanilla Stardew doesn't have a monster slaying goal for ghosts. Like, even if it was just like 25 of them, because they are kind of rare. Or like 30 of them. just feels like, for completion's sake, there should be. Alright, there's a ladder. We got a slingshot. Did I bring healing items? I did not bring healing items. That's okay. Really just looking for a jade here. one has a freebie. Um, jades can spawn from crates. Grapes cannot be in the town. It's only check the forest, bus stop, and mountain. Got it. Oh yeah, I was gonna check a little bit more today. We'll see. Um, there's a diamond. At the very least, we get a bunch of money. Um, if we crystallarium the diamond. Great, right here. Don't see anything else on this floor. Except for this crate. Cape carrots. I do need to ship a cape carrot. I got an amethyst. Oh. 
There we go. We got a jade. That was such a lucky jade. Okay. Um, we'll go one more floor for the check and then be on our way. Travel Lantern Thursday and a mask shard. So we're going to be getting a new mask, hopefully, in Hollow Knight soon. All right, we got the jade. That's what we were there for. And then next time we go to the mines, we can just get the floor 120 after doing a bunch of auto sleeping. Okay. Any new Clint checks? Let me smelt some iron. I don't care about regular quality grapes. Let's just ship a cave carrot. The rest of the loot I will hold on to. Apparently diamond was required for a bundle. Same with amethyst. I guess we have like a gem bundle. Don't really care about the winter route. Ship that. Oh, our farm is so messy. We can make some more paths. One path, place it here so that the shipping bin doesn't get blocked again. Oh no, that's why I remember now it ships everything. That's why I, okay. It didn't ship our stuff from here. That's why I did not have that connected. Okay. Because it's automate connects it and ships stuff. Did it ship anything too important? I don't think so. Okay, just in case I make that mistake again, let's go drop these off at the community center. So we don't want that to happen. Hello, Loot Gremlin Bree. Hope you're doing well. Thanks for stopping by the stream. Go 50 for ghosts. Think about the Skull Cave. Cavern money, you have usually one to two ghosts. For yeah, that's true. Because you can get the ghosts at Skull Cavern as well. Yeah, 50 for ghosts is probably a good amount. If Concerned Ape ever added that as a monster slaying goal. Diamond, and we'll get a jade soon. Oh, I should have replicated the diamond. Shoot. That's okay. I didn't realize we had the gemologists, geologists, and treasure hunters bundle. Well, that's fine. What else is at the vault bundle? Gambler's bundle. That's an annoying one. Artisan, we're just missing cherry. All right, I think we auto sleep for the cherry to grow and for the jades to replicate. I believe you can customize the automate mod to disable automating into the shipping bin and mini shipping bin. They're at the very top of the list of machines to disable. Okay, that's a good idea. Another mine elevator and the soul sapper ring. I'll have to take a look at that. Because, yeah, automated shipping. I don't really care for automatic shipping. I will just disable that. The farm is messy. All the maple trees are in one place, or the oak trees. It's quite organized when you exclude the fact that it's one huge forest. <laughs> I suppose that's one way to look at it. Look at it in a good light. All right, here's our skull key. Master slingshot, don't know if I will be using that at all. Keep it in there. Soul sapper ring. Crash that. <laughs> oh, I should, I sent out a, shoot. Benny, I said I was going to send out a stream ping. Okay, there we go. Now I pinged the Discord. Hope you're doing well, Benny. 
Hope you're doing well. I'm so forgetful sometimes, but everybody already knows that. Nothing new there. Okay, greenhouse. Cranberries are done. We got a grub. Probably don't need to keep harvesting the greenhouse here. It's probably just like a waste of time. Thanks for popping in, Benny. Always appreciate it. Ship the cranberries. Ship all of this stuff for the money. And let's Saturday. While it's Saturday, check for forgeables. Start at the mountain here. Here's a grape. Of course, the spice berry was a gold star. Grape wasn't. Oh, look at all these grapes. Come on, one of them's got to be a gold star. There's a gold star. Got one gold star. Five regular grapes. Ooh, we can mine at the quarry. Prismatic shard, perhaps? No prismatic shard. Oh, there's a diamond here. We're gonna use that for one of the bundles. Level 6 mining got a thorns ring. Another mystic stone here. We get nothing. No prismatic shard. Well, we can get one Iridium Bar if there is something essential from Clint, but I don't know if there is. Alright, Amethyst is no longer needed, but we do need the Diamond and the Topaz. Don't need the Grapes, except for the Gold Star. Alright, and I was going to disable the Shipping Bin. How do we do this? Mod Options at the bottom there. Automate. Shipping bin and mini shipping bin, no. Save and close. Okay. There's an emerald. Do I need the emerald? Got a sewing machine. If I need the emerald, I'll go back for the emerald. I th think. Where is it with the jade or topaz? Topaz diamond completes treasure hunters and then jade completes geologist. So I think we're good. I don't think we need the emerald. And it'll stay there at the very least. Yeah, we've got enough jades now. Cherry grown. We planted the cherry sometime in spring. So I want to go back to the community center once the cherry has grown. But also we can do a foraging trip on Saturday. It's been raining a lot this summer. Sorry, Emily, we're going to have to trash your sewing machine. Lots of grapes. Silver quality. Silver quality. <laughs> Not what I'm looking for. Silver qualities won't do. To be able to combine qualities, like two silver qualities equals a gold quality. But there's a mod for it. Well, we did get one gold star. And I'll grab the emerald while I'm here. That way I can trade all the save on a jade for staircase. I 
got our loot boxes for super meal. Speed us up. Alright, any grapes in the forest? They do spawn in the forest, right? Grapes. I'm ignoring the other ones. Maybe we're just unlucky. Got a magma geode from a rock out here? That's interesting. Must have been because of a debris trap. Rare seed. Do we need rare seeds? We do need a gold sweet gem berry, but I'm working on the grape method. But that doesn't deplete stock, so it's okay to buy it. Pretty safe to buy it. What's the goal for this run again? The goal for Stardew is shipping every crop. So there's a lot involved for that one. Why does everybody hate us? Is it because we haven't met everybody? We're at 10 hours with Pierre. Have I never met Abigail or Caroline? I think I'm petting them, but I haven't ever met them. Well, I suppose I should go talk to Caroline. They're probably in bed, right? Caroline's not in bed. Can I get this? 50,000 gold for a check. 50,000 gold for a check is so expensive, but we might as well do it. Okay, Abigail we're not as concerned about, but Caroline, we can start leveling up friendship with her at least. What else am I auto-petting? I guess it doesn't really matter for anybody else. I was really disorganized in this save. Force is primarily for spice berries, gotcha. Alright, another six days. Do a little untalk to everyone there. Yeah, and I could also get friendship with people there. That's a good idea. And yeah, the goal for Hollow Knight is regular ending, not true ending. So all I need is three dreamers for that. Um, still no cherry. Don't want to harvest that stuff. That takes time. A lot of grapes here. No gold star. Oh, unlucky day of foraging today. That's fine. I guess if Cindersap Forest has a worse chance of grapes, I won't bother. Let's just get that cherry over with. Alright, and then what season should I go in? I guess summer again for the Luau? Summer. And then what can I give to the Luau? That would be a good response. I can catch a Gold Star Sturgeon. Uh, I need five gold star grapes. Five gold star grapes for the bundle. Yeah, it's, summer's probably good to continue grinding the grapes out. And there was a new traveling cart day as well. Looks like Tuesday has two more items. What the heck is this? This is a randomizer, Rikar. This is a randomizer between Hollow Knight and Stardew. So for example, I'll show off a check in a moment here, but checks are the things that we need to complete to get items. Yeah, this is Stardew Valley. I don't know if you've ever seen Stardew Valley, but... Yep, Archipelago Randomizer, as GB1 Ryan Wald has said. 
there are things called checks. For example, this one's for progressive footwear. This is how I get boots. That's how I get my boots. Everything's randomized. Sometimes they're my Hollow Knight items. Sometimes they're my Stardew items. I don't think I need deal for anything. And I believe we had Thursday cart checks. We got genie shoes. Those seem like a rare item. Six immunity. Well, better than the thermal shoes. And who knows, maybe we'll find some grapes along the way. Boots are made for walking. Got a mine elevator from it, and I believe I've already shipped a tablet. Alright, Friday, nothing on Fridays, but Saturday we will check for more grapes. A regular one. Still looking for five gold star grapes. And nothing. Alright, what do we do? Um, sleep until Tuesday was the other cart day. We have the traveling cart for every single day now. And Tuesday is what we still have checks for. We got Quick Slash. That's a really good charm for Hollow Knight. Not complaining about that. Need some paths. Let me chop down a tree. Once the trees have grown, I want to place down the paths so they become automated. There you go. Alright, ship two of the cherries. And the rest, we can complete a few bundles. Oh, here's a grape. Regular quality, though. So, town sounds like the town mainly has the sweet peas the mountains usually has mostly grapes and the cinder sap forest has the spice berries seems like the how it is okay topaz diamond got city storeroom stag that's not useful because we already have access to that and then we got some essence or some boss geo we got some geo for hollow knight and a city of tears map and again the maps aren't useful We can skip out of this um, and donate the cherry. Artisan bundle. We got a mining level. Oh, and if we want the left crystal heart, we have to complete this whole pantry here, which is doable, which is doable. The rare crops, the sweet gem berry. I'm growing a sweet gem berry, so that one's easy. However, I still have to ship an ancient fruit for the goal. So I have to keep an eye out for ancient seeds. Sweet peas can show up in Cinder Sap Forest too. Gotcha. 
Yeah, I know most can show up in most places, but like it seems like primarily those are like the focused areas, I guess. Alright, did I check the card today? I don't think I did. I think that was the whole point of today, checking the cart. The beach farm is definitely my least favorite farm for the randomizer. We got Defender's Crest, which is a charm for Hollow Knight. Also buy another seed just because we need one for the Cannoli statue. One for a bundle. We also have to ship one, so I probably need another one. Alright, we still have two checks for Thursday. We got some skill levels there. <laughs> and it's the Luau today. Um... Do I have anything for the Luau? Gold Star Orange? Gold Star Orange is probably decent for the Luau, right? I doubt it's the best response, but I don't really mind. I don't need the, the, the like absolute best response. The guy on the beach getting anything from Stardew? Oh, from Hollow Knight? Um, a few things, yeah. Um, some Geo, for example. And we can switch screens, switch games. Hold on, I gotta do it like this. And I can show off some, some stuff in Hollow Knight as well real quick while we wait for the Luau to start. Where is a good place to get some checks done? I guess there's a lot in Crystal Peak. There's some in Soul Sanctum. Let's go to Crystal Peak. Because I have right Crystal Dash. I don't have Desolate Dive. But I believe I can get there like this. See the tree growing in the front of the shipping bin to place a path now? Oh yeah, I can place a path now, now that I disabled everything. That's true. Okay, so we can make it over here because we have right Crystal Dash. Oh, is it coming down? Yeah, it's coming down. There we go. I think I already hit the lever, so it would have came down for me anyway. I want to do it the fancy way. As long as we don't miss the Luau, we don't want to miss the Luau. I can probably get a few checks from Hollow Knight real quick. Alright, for example, maps are checks. So this one gets me a shed in Stardew, which isn't useful. A lot of the things aren't very useful. This one got me a King's Idol, which is a relic, which gets me money in Hollow Knight. There's a check for the shopkeeper's key up here. Got me a wedding ring in Stardew. Again, not too useful. We can fight this boss real quick here. Easy way to kill this boss is to just get a bunch of soul. And, then... <laughs> and the boss is dead. We'll fight the harder version of this boss in a second here. Let's sit on the bench and go back to Stardew. I don't want to miss the Luau. Luau has started. Skip that cutscene. I 
I have a gold star orange, right? Yeah. And this one got us our rhubarb seed, which seeds are important. We need every type of seed. Um, they are from random checks. We need every type of seed to beat the game. Because the goal for Stardew is shipping one of every crop, as opposed to the community center like I normally do. All right, throw in the orange. Talk to Lewis. Oh no, we want to talk to everybody here. The reason I'm talking to everybody is just in case I decide to auto pet or get friendship with people. We or yeah, for example, the Luau should give me friendship with everybody, and if I didn't meet them, it wouldn't have given me friendship. Potato feels sick. Oh no, Potato, why do you feel sick? Hopefully you're okay. But welcome in. Welcome in, Angelina. Hope you're doing well. We're gonna meet everybody but Elliot. Alright. Everybody except for Sandy, but we don't near we don't really need Sandy. Okay, let's start. Wizard and Willie should be on the boardwalk. I've already met the wizard, and I've met Willie, so don't need to talk to them. Female issues, gotcha. I hope you feel better. All right, yeah, we didn't get the best response, which is okay. I didn't need the best response. I just needed to meet everybody and get a little bit of friendship. All right, Friday, Saturday. Saturday is Forge Day. Got a bunch of money from our summer tree fruit. Hot chocolate usually helps. Hot chocolate is good. Alright, there we go. We got our paths down. And shipping bin is disabled now. Alright, rhubarb takes 13 days. So rhubarb should grow by the end of the month. Let's check for some grapes. Eating is always a good thing. Watch, I'm probably just gonna get a gold. Oh, there's a gold star. I'm gonna say I'm probably just gonna get a gold sweet gem berry and use that instead of the grapes. But we're three out of five grapes now. So we just need two more. Hopefully, we get them by the end of this summer. All right, auto sleep um till th Thursday, which is four days. For five days, I can't count. And we have one more check from the traveling card for Thursday. We need something to focus on. I could probably hint most of the remaining like seeds I need for Stardew. 
But either way, we're going to need to hint our Dreamers in Hollow Knight. So I think the best thing to do is probably play Hollow Knight. We got our progressive trash can. That's pretty trashy, if you ask me. We got the different stages of sweet gemberry growth there. All right, I want to do like one more Saturday, maybe get those quality crops bundled done. Getting left crystal heart for Hollow Knight would be good, although I th think... Let's see, we've got quality crops well, and slime for... We have to grind slimes. So that's doable. We're growing a sweet gem berry. We're going to get the five gold star grapes. That's doable. Today was a bad day for grapes. Alright, while I auto sleep, let's go kill a boss in Hollow Knight. Did I sit at the bench? Yeah, I sat at the bench. I was sitting there for a long time. All right, we have an upgraded Crystal Guardian now. Forgot I don't have Dive. I was gonna use Dive on him. Oh, we died. Oh, we died in Stardew, I forgot about that. All right, well that shows off the Death Link. He died while auto sleeping. Is that going to mess something up? Let's get our shade back and then we'll deal with Stardew after I beat this boss. Okay, I'm doing a bad job here. I'm doing a very bad job here. I did a good job with the Watcher Knights, okay? Alright, let's equip. I don't need Dash Master. I recently got Quick Slash, which is a good charm. For one, Quick Slash for one is amazing. We're having really good charm luck, like our, how much the costs. Like usually, like for example, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Like those are the little white dots there. I can equip like nine um, charm slots worth of charms. Like the high blood costs three, Quick Slash costs one. Normally Quick Slash costs three, so that's why it's really good. Shaman Stone's insane. Um, High Blood isn't really good for this boss since it deals 2 damage. Quick Focus is decent. Um, if I'm taking hits, Grub Song is good. Although my goal is to not take hits. So let's try... I guess Soul Catcher. I get more soul from hitting it. But now I should be able to use my nail faster. Using s this battle, the reason I'm having such a tough time is because I usually rely on Descending Dark for this battle. I usually have the the down spell. Nope. <laughs> and the thing that's really tough about this boss is it deals double damage. I wonder how much stuff we've lost in Stardew. Okay, that time I tried to just spam my spells. That's not a good strategy. Alright, this time my strategy will be to play it safe. We'll see how this strategy works. 
this out. What? It, it just jumped into me. That's not fair. <laughs> this boss is so hard when I don't have Descending Dark. Okay, that's, that's enough. I don't want to just keep embarrassing myself there. It's usually not that hard of a boss. I promise. Because there's a spell called... Ooh, we lost Obsidian Edge. We need to figure out how to get that back. There's a spell called Descending Dark, which gives you a little bit of invincibility, and you can usually get into a really good rhythm with that boss using Descending Dark. That's what I usually do. Maybe I hint that in Hollow Knight. I lost four jades. Oh, am I just going to keep losing my items? Okay, no, we're good. We're done with losing our items. We can go back to the Adventurer's Guild. Um, I just need to skip forward time. Actually, Marlin should let me do it from the telephone. I lost a bunch of money in the process. Oh, because I died twice, I can't get the obsidian edge back. All right, we're going to have to settle for the Yeti Tooth. Unless we check back tomorrow and we get something better. Let's try that. Let's see what he let's see like how this works with his inventory. No, not Gus. I don't care about the dish of the day, Gus. Come on. Marlin. <laughs> Neptune's Glaive. No, I'm looking for, like, the obscene edge. Not Neptune's Glaive, not Wood Club. Let's try again. Summer again for grapes. I just realized I skipped past Saturday. Alright, Marlin. Alright, I suppose the Yeti Tooth is good enough. And then we should get it in the mail. Is that how it works? Oh, our farm is such a mess. I could probably go up to the Venture Guild and buy from the shop, that is true. But this works as well. Yeti Tooth is fine. Alright, sleep a few days. Alright, do I try the boss again in Hollow Knight? It's for two checks. Two checks. I don't know if it's worth it for two checks. Let's get our body back at least. We can come back to it later. Oh, I guess we're trying again. Is there a way to get my shade? How do you get my- how do I get my shade back? <laughs> Let's try again. Because if I enter the room... Okay, it's coming. I was gonna say, I wanted my shade back, but I don't want to fight the boss. There we go. Should be. I get this one like that. No, I can't. I think I have to go up and around now. I've used the Grub Song charm. Yeah, the Grub Song does give me like soul every time I take damage. But the thing is with that boss, it do I don't have enough time to um heal. I don't have enough time to heal. But I guess dealing damage to it fast enough could work. Alright, 
right, we're gonna go get the grub check from this room over here. an annoying room for me. We won't die here. We got Crystal Heart, which makes it a little bit easier. We got Grim Child. Okay, so now we don't have to um, spawn the Grim Troop. Grim Troop will automatically spawn. We gotta climb Hollowness Peak for a check. A lot of climbing for a single check, but it doesn't take too long. Make sure I stay healthy. Trying to get some soul from this guy, but I ended up taking damage instead. Sometimes it's easier to just rush through this space and not get hit. this for one single check up here but it could be something good got a barn which is usually something kind of good in stardew but really not anything useful for this run because this run we're trying to ship every crop come on back in this room i need to go to the left I don't know if this is a check or if this is vanilla, the thing over here. Wanderer's Journal. Okay, that was, yeah, I don't have relics randomized. They're just vanilla. Same thing with the rancid eggs. But there is a grub in this room and there is the crystal heart check. So two checks over here. Forget I have shape cloak, so I can just dash through these things and not take damage. What's this? Amethyst ring. And a mask shard. Hey, that got us a new um, mask at least. So maybe we'll have an easier time with the boss now. Let's go back there and try to kill that Crystal Guardian. I will try equipping the Grub Song and just see if we can just deal a bunch of damage all at once. Not a bad idea. Unless Truffles count as a crop somehow, which I wouldn't agree with, then it's just a money maker. Yeah, um, Truffles do not count as something I have to ship, thankfully. The threat was to just ink damage and just do the up spell as many times as I can. We got the two checks, but nothing useful. Weaver Song isn't that great of a charm, and Manny's Machine is not useful either. Okay, we can go get 
a few grub checks. Well, let's go to the right, probably quicker. adult damage. Alright, mask shard. Getting a lot of mask shards. I suppose there aren't very many filler items because of my settings. fruit bats so we can ship each of those now I suppose that's decent and then should be I go back to the crystal guardian bench should be able to get two more checks about plus the smashy thingies. Um, we can get both the mushrooms and the fruit bats in the randomizer, which is kind of cool. we have lantern so can't make it to the crystal lives mound we're done with crystal peak pretty much we can check the things in dirt mouth here did i do bretta no i have not Let's equip Grimchild for three. And then let's do Grim. I might be able to do Grim. Grim's kind of hard, but we'll try. We'll try. Um, Because there is a free check, but we might as well try to beat him at the same time. Or do I have to do the Grimkin Flames first? I don't think I have to do the Grimkin Flames. I think I just have to fight him. Right? Yeah. Yeah, Grim Troop is in town now because I found Grim Child. I bow to him. This is one of those bosses where it's like riding a bike, the pattern just sticks with you. It's, it's still kind of tricky, I will admit. 
but this is one of them that you can't just tank damage. You have to actually learn the pattern and not die. with some more up spells when I was in the middle there. Oh. oh, I do have dash slash. Okay, that just dealt like a crap ton of damage to him all at once. We might go into that phase again. Yep. I think there's four balloon phases. The balloons, when he goes into the balloon like this, is kind of when you can tell, like, your progress. I believe there's four balloon phases. I think we have one more to go through. Oh, or maybe that's it. Okay, Grim's not as hard as I remember. It's Nightmare King Grim that's ridiculously hard. That should have gotten us a check. Usually not that easy. It's just because I have a bunch of like really good charms right now. There's only four balloon phases if you hit him when he bows. Oh, okay. Gotcha. I would never hit him while he bows. We got a combat level. Got a few more farming levels recently. I wonder if we can just do the quality crops like that way. Okay, and then there should be... Some checks from equipping... Fragile Heart first. Pumpkin seeds. We need pumpkin seeds. Okay, so fragile heart is for pumpkin seeds. That is something we need. Let's try greed. Coffee bean. Coffee bean is also something we could use, but we could also just get coffee bean from dust sprites at the mines. Ah. Alright, and now uh, last one, fragile strength. So basically in the vanilla base game, this, um... Worm? Worm? The divine is what, um, they're called. Okay, this one's for a grub, so this does not need. Usually upgrades these charms to be unbreakable charms. Because usually fragile strength, heart, and greed all can break when you die if you're wearing them. But that lady will upgrade them for us and make them unbreakable. Of course, in the randomizer, that's randomized. So we have pumpkin seeds and coffee bean. The pumpkin seeds were like 800. That's the one that I really need. Coffee bean, we can get through other methods. This was a really lucky charm distribution. Like, look at this. Like, Shaman Stone for one, Soul Eater for two, Market Pride for two, Quick Slash for one. That's ridiculously good. <laughs> and I like High Blood. Okay. So, should we go back into Stardew for a moment? I died in Hollow Knight, which means I die in Stardew. What did I lose? I lost a grape. Hopefully that wasn't the Gold Star grape. 
I don't think it was. Did I do my foraging today? I don't think I did my foraging today. Let's go check for some grapes. Yeah, there's some grapes. We're looking for five gold star grapes for the quality crops bundle. Silver. Which, honestly, it's probably better to just If you die in the game, you die in real life. Uh-oh, I don't like the sound of that. Okay, let's sleep another week. There's so much to do in Hollow Knight. I'd rather just stick with Hollow Knight. Oh, we leveled up farming. Crops worth 10% more? Sure. Until we need Left Crystal Heart, there's really no reason to go back into Stardew. There's... we can get checks done much faster on Hollow Knight. Oh, it's not letting me go back into Hollow Knight for some reason. Sometimes my switching is strange. Okay, now we're in Hollow Knight. There we go. Okay, so there's a quick relic I can grab here for some money. And then uh, let's go to Quirrell. I'll go trade my relics for some Geo and then go buy the pumpkin seeds. There's a bench at the relic. Okay. Pretty convenient. Okay, yeah, we got 1900 gold, so we can go buy the pumpkin seeds now. Back to Dirt Mouth. And that one was with Fragile Heart, I believe. Yes, I will buy some pumpkin seeds. <laughs> and she's processing our pumpkin seeds. Folks in Stardew don't want to know where those pumpkin seeds came from. <laughs> Lewis wouldn't care. Alrighty, I'm gonna put my high blood back on and we're gonna do some exploring in Hollow Knight. Where can I get the most amount of checks? There are three checks at Hollowing Cliffs. If I do this, set start, warp back. The King's Pass. If I were to do this again, I'd probably set hints a little bit higher instead of hints every 10% or I don't know if I have it on 10 or 5%, but it feels like the hints should be a little bit more frequent. But maybe that's just because I got a crazy seed in Hollow Knight. Too hard. And what do we get? 
We got the Slime Charmer Ring, which will help with um, grinding out... Um, what do you call it? Slimes when I need my jelly. Okay, we just skipped our way into Stag Nest. Have I been here before? No, I've not been here before. Got a mine elevator. And we can get two lifeblood math. No, thank you. Let's go talk to, I think, Nailmaster Oro is the one that's here, or is it Mato? I'm not sure. One of them is here. I get a bunch. Mine elevator, I will take mine elevators, it'll make us need less jades. Apparently I have the lantern, because it says I can get Joni's thing over there, which means I should have the Lumify lantern. I guess we'll go investigate. A grub. It's only 75 geo, so I'll buy it. So many of these flies taking too much damage here. Very awkward to die to these like little flies. So many of them, I forgot how many there they spawn here. Alright, we're safe. Alright, and we got a star drop. Not too exciting. Desolate dive to get back that way. I have to take the long way around. That's all right. Usually in Hollow Knight, when you go through areas, there's shortcuts to get back to where you came from. Ooh, we're taking damage here. Gotta be very careful. Okay, we're good. Let's heal before I continue onward. That was close. Really not a fan of those jumping guys. Okay, and we're free. Should be another check somewhere here. There's a wanderer's journal. Oh, it's just a grub. I believe there's also a relic over here that we can grab. Probably should have randomized relics because I'm just grabbing them anyway. Trap for Stardew. Mm. 
think we've already fought these guys here. Um, anything in Green Path? Not much in Green Path. Not much in Queen's Gardens. I suppose Deep Nest has a whole bunch, although I'm not a big fan of Deep Nest. Mantis Village. Mantis Village has, like, a few checks. So let's go back to Fungal Wastes. Had a randomizer where you get all... 10 stag stations for the regular stagnant station to unlock method to find mantis claw and howling cliffs. Wow, yeah, that sounds like a very long and tiresome seed. This seed was quite similar in terms of like, it's just a very exhausting seed. But yeah, let's go to waste, leg eater, Bretta. Um, Bretta is probably closest to get into mantis village. Oh, I have fought the Mantis Lords already, so they won't hurt me. I don't think I went into the room to get the rewards. bench here. And this is normally where we get a charm, but we got spell- wow, spell twister for one! We got another insanely good charm for only one cost. That is quite insane. Alright, where's the other check? It's in that chest right there. We got a vessel fragment. Not too bad. Do we get all vessel fragments? Because we have a full meter at the top left now. We got all three like little dots. Okay, we have to go fungal core. I believe it's this way. Yep. Oh, this guy's gonna be tough because we don't have the... Oh, that works as well. We can just get around him. Shimmy our way around. It's always interesting how you can just ignore the enemies in this area. Without much consequence and just get to the goal. We just need to drop down here, go into Deep Nest. And we got a watering can, not too useful. Okay, failed tram way, there's a life blood cocoon check. So let's do Deep Nest failed tram way. Left Crystal Heart would be kind of nice, but we need we need to grind out more grapes for that. And we need to grind slimes for that. Which, I don't know if I want to do that. This got us Essence. And I believe there is a check from Galien. I think that's his name, the warrior. Somewhere around here. I 
Alright, let's first get the check from the lifeblood cocoon up here. And then we can fight him. He's gonna have more health because of our upgrades, our nail upgrades, but that's okay. We should still be able to beat him. This guy is a little bit tougher though for me. I say he's tougher, and then we just use our insanely overpowered charms combined with our spells to kill him right away. Oh, that was easy. We got nothing! Absolutely nothing. Let's go. Two checks from the spider's den, so let's go there. Or weaver's den, I think it's called. Oh, passed out on Stardew. That's okay. Where are we going? I believe we're in the right room now. <laughs> Yep, I love getting nothing. Weaver's done. I believe there's two checks inside of here. I think this is just an egg. Yeah, eggs aren't randomized. usually get a charm in here and that's definitely randomized. I got the water obelisk. Is the geo chest in here randomized? It is. So we need to do that. It says it's accessible. We had to just unlock that little secret door. I got King Soul. We're not going for the true ending though, so we don't need that. We need the dreamers. We still haven't gotten any of the three dreamers, which is what we need. Can we hint in Hollow Knight yet? There's no point in hinting until we have like enough hint points for three. We just might as well keep completing checks. Alright, there is a grub in this room somewhere. It's up there, and it does look like it's a check for something. just try to avoid enemies. Alright, here it is. It's our Void- <laughs> We got King Soul and now we got the Void Heart, so we could just beat the Radiance. Um, we, we, we can't beat the Radiance until we have all three Dream Nails, and we still need, like, the three Dreamers. But, like, it's funny how we got Void Heart. Right as I got King Soul. Come on, let's get out of here. Do 
Deepness is always so hard to navigate. And very easy to take damage in, apparently. Okay, we're safe here. Let's wait to heal. Give it a moment. One spider dealt two hits of damage to me. One heart. <laughs> okay, we're safe. No enemies in the distant village, thankfully. Okay, this check is for... We can get 550 Geo for 250 Geo. That seems worth it to me. <laughs> Good return on investment. All right, we'll get the checks from the beasts then as well. We're getting attacked. All right, we are inside the beasts then, which does not have a map. I'm gonna have to remember how to navigate this place the old fashioned way. I believe this is just an hollowness seal and just like a relic. And there's what, a grub check and the Hera check in here. All right, <laughs> we were able to kill that guy with five spells. Left slash would really be nice, you know? It's been tough trying to fight enemies facing towards the left. Oh, I hear the grub. I think the grub's vanilla. Yep, the grub's a grub. for a mask shard, but we might as well grab the mask shard. So still no dreamers, which I would like to find one of, one or two of them without hinting. Because we still have... let's check our hints. We have 59 points. Okay, that's not too bad. We can... We can hint one of the dreamers at least. Let's hint Hera, since we just did Hera. Monster eradication fly. Monster eradication fly. <laughs> what the heck? That's such an easy 
easy check. I can't believe I haven't done that yet. Wow. That is... That's a little silly. Apparently there's two checks over here. I think the easiest way is to go back to the Mantis Village bench. Um... Wastes... Mantis Village. Monster eradication fly, that's so easy. secret in here key to the town which we've already we start with the key to the town well that's useless and the map guy has a check for us over here corn conifer orange the bag number 38 it's not useful it's a charm but not too useful Deep nest, hot springs. There is a check down here at the bottom right, and then that might give us another hint. And I will use that hint. This one is a pale ore. Not useful. Not too useful, at least. I don't think I plan to get any more nail upgrades. Okay, we can get three checks from the ancient basin over here, so let's do that. Wastes, deep nest, basin, toll. Oh, I don't have left crystal dash. I still need to grind out left crystal dash, don't I? Let's go back to Stardew and do that. And go get the, the bug slate as well. So it would be... Let's see. And we should have another hint now. So let's hint... Lurian. Chip Sandy Coconut? That's another one that I should have done easily. Alright, so now we just need... 31 more checks in Hollow Knight. And then we can hint... Um, Monoman. And then we can win the game, basically. So we're just about in go mode in Hollow Knight. But let's take take care of those things in Stardew. Let's sleep. So I need to ship a coconut and kill a bug. A fly, not a bug. They're very different, apparently. Got the mayonnaise machine, let's go. I don't have skip animations turned on, apparently. Forgot to turn those back on. And I think the goal is going to be to beat Hollow Knight and release Hollow Knight. I think that's going to be feasible. A slime charmer's ring might come in handy for grinding out slimes. I'll keep that. We are slimed right now, in fact. Alright, we have three sweet gem berries. Did not get a gold star, unfortunately. 
Do I have to ship one of them? I've already shipped one, but there's one for a bundle. One for Master Cannoli. And I did not get the gold star that I was hoping for, unfortunately. Okay, sleep so I can get rid of that slime, and then we can go to the mines. Twenty-nine jades is a decent amount, but let's sleep until Sunday so we can trade them to the desert trader. Do I have the bus repair? Yeah, I've got the desert obelisk. We can make it to the desert at the very least. Do I have it built? That's the question, though. I'm so surprised we haven't shipped the coconut. That must have been like one of the last things we did yesterday. Harvest the orange. Or not yesterday. Last time. <laughs> last time was like a month ago. Yep, Desert Obelisk has been here this whole time. Just been blocked by our forest. And apparently I've never shipped the coconut or cactus fruit. Wow. At least while we're here, we can do... Um, staircase Sunday, trade rates for staircases. I think I have some more, probably. 29, 29 is probably enough to get down all the way. Three more. I can bring my stone as well. I'm gonna get the three more sleep and then we're gonna do a big mines run. Hello, Ariana. I'm doing well. Did you see the clips yesterday? I saw a glimpse of the eclipse. Um, I wasn't able to see like the total one, but I was able to see like a good like partial amount of it, which was cool. Okay, so sleep and mind run. Here we got um, Lurian from shipping a coconut. Can't believe that I had to hint that. Okay, so mine's run. Post some pics on Discord from your state. Yeah, that sounds good. I'd love to take a little look at them. Got plenty of coffee. Need some real life coffee, I'm tired. I guess oranges for healing. All right, mines. 75, got a charm. Nothing too useful yet. Simple key is decent. We got our... Finally got our Steel Axe. Alright, this floor should be easy to get a ladder, so I'm not gonna skip it. Or I... Yeah, not gonna skip it. That's the right way to say it. Alright, killing these guys for the first time are gonna be something. Potato seeds and beet seeds. Two crops we need, so that's good. There's our hidden station stag. Got a hoe. I had diamond from that slime. Okay, and we need to probably kill a lava bat, and then I think we're good. All 
All right, let's start skipping some floors. And look out for a lava bat. Uh, nothing too useful there. That's when I had a freebie and a jade node. We killed a shaman, right? I'm gonna have to kill another shaman just to be uh, safe, just in case. Yeah, we killed the shaman. We need a crab. I think this is a crab. I got a grub. Alright, skip this floor. Skip this floor. Any lava bats? Still no lava bats. Oh, the purple mushroom is good because we haven't chipped one yet. Got a farming level, emerald ring. Uh, 20 more floors and we have 20 ladders. Still don't see any bats. Still no bats. Don't see any on this floor. Why do bats seem so rare sometimes? Like whenever you want them, they're rare. Just in case I need the purple mushroom for enchanter's bundle, let's grab a duplicate. Oh, look at all these mushrooms. This is a really good mushroom floor. Here's a bat. I got a steady body charm, which is not too useful. Traveling merchant discount. And the garden pot, and we got dream wielder. Dream wielder is a charm. Another charm that's not too useful. All right, then we ship the mushrooms. No need for a bundle. Nope, not need for a bundle. We can ship it. All right, well, that was an easy mind run. Apparently Void Essence is needed in some bundle. Not the missing. Oh, Enchanter's Bundle. Enchanter's Bundle is Void Essence and Jade. We can do that one. We can just sleep a few more days for another Jade. Sleep till Saturday. Oh, we needed to slay a fly. I forgot to do that. That was the whole main purpose of get going to the mines. We need to ship a fly. Not ship a fly, slay a fly. Now we got some new seeds to grow and ship. We got three new seeds. All right, three new seeds to plant and we'll eventually ship them. Got a bunch of fruit tree fruit to sell. Navigating this forest is becoming a bit of a chore. But we're gonna be done soon, hopefully. Because I think we just need to go slay a fly in Stardew. 
And then we can go back into Hollow Knight. We still need that Gold Star Grape, though. There's another Gold Star Grape. I think we need one more now. Mines. Also probably use Slime for the Slime Farmer's Bundle. Okay, so I need a fly, which can be gotten from those grubs, I think. Like, I think I need to deal a critical hit or something strange on them. While I'm doing this, let's equip the burglar's ring. Slime charmer's ring isn't as important. The burglar's ring might be the game changer to get an ancient seed. Because I do need an ancient seed still. Still need an ancient seed, which is going to be a grind. Okay, so I want one of them to turn into the bug. I need to deal a, deal a critical hit on these guys. Nope, no critical hit. I think that's how it works. I think they you need to get a crit on them and then they turn into a fly. I got the love key. Those are it's a good way to get a bunch of checks at once. There you go. One of them's turning into a fly, and that's all we need. We had Hera. Let's go. Still can't believe we had to hint Hera, but I guess flies aren't too common to come by. We still need an ancient seed. I got a rice shoot. I wonder if putting things through the seed maker is going to be quicker. Or if grinding out like an actual ancient seed and giving it to Gunther is going to be quicker. I'm really not sure. Either way, I think we should go release Hollow Knight and or work on releasing Hollow Knight. We're not to that point yet where we're going to release it. A little ways away. But we're making good progress. Have I grown rice? Okay, um... So I've got some stuff growing here, so let's sleep a week and go back to Hollow Knight. Wait, we gotta go through this screen first. Alright, back in Hollow Knight. Oh, we got a new season in Stardew. Shoot. I'll go back there in a second. Ah, we can't do simple jumps. It's a grub. Oh, we haven't unlocked that side yet. We gotta go through the gauntlet. Oh, 
I swear, there's no way anybody goes through this gauntlet without damage tanking a little bit. heal before the boss fight here but it should be a pretty quick boss fight with our charms One hit left. Let's heal. I tried to damage tank him, but it didn't really work out for me, did it now? Oh, we had like a few more hits left on him. Not bad. Yeah, I didn't know that either, Casper, until like one of my recent streams somebody told me that's how it worked. We're not going to do the dream version of that unless we have to, because we can probably release Hollow Knight soon. The goal right now is getting 30 checks for a hint. Then we're going to hint Monomon. We got a progressive axe, not too bad. Then we're going to hint Monomon. I wonder, by the way, and we can barely hear the music, all the sound effects are down. Drown out the music for Hollow Knight. Okay, I can turn the music up slightly. Not video, audio. Not to 10, I'll, I'll do it at like seven. Should be a little bit louder now. Okay, the Abyss has a few checks, but those ones are always kind of tedious. Go back to the toll and then go to hidden station for that check. Oh, the love key. Love key gets us like four grub checks. Resting ground stag for 300, sure. It's a check, so I'll get it. Soul Sanctum, there's a few checks. Although I don't have dive, so we can't get everything there. Um, let's go get the Soul Warrior check. Oh, that's two checks, that's pretty quick. So we're gonna do... City... Toll, I believe? And apparently we have the elegant key according to logic, so we should be able to get into this door. And this one's um not too hard of a boss fight. Shouldn't be too hard at least. Oh yeah, that was pretty quick. We got a forging level. And we'll see what we get from this. I'm scared. Okay, 
Got a grub. Oh, I bet we can get a bunch of checks at once from grubs. Maybe essence. And see if there's anything left that's sly. Or Zelda. I don't need sly. No, we're done with Sly. There is, however, Poppy being from Unbreakable Greed, so that's something we need, and also point one point towards a hint. So might as well buy the coffee bean. Alrighty. Unequip that charm. We sh we got spell twister for one, which is really good. What can I take off? All this stuff is too good to take off. We can do long nail for two. Just have an absurdly long nail. Or Grub Song. Grub Song's not bad. Just get a bunch of soul. Or Soul Catcher. Soul Catcher is probably better. I don't think we necessarily need Hive Blood. Oh, now Crossroads are infected since we got one of the Dreamers. Yep. Two of them, in fact. Only one chuck, but a bunch of geo. Alright, anything from Salubra, perhaps. A single grub. Okay, what about from the seer? Stag from the resting grounds. Ah. One check from the seer, that's it. And so everything else was obtained. Let's go to the love key room. City King Station. Yeah, that'll get us four checks. Gotta go through. Um. Kingdom's Edge, though. I don't think I have Vismus tier, so I can't really skip any of this area. We have a lot of Geo, so I'm gonna get the check from Oro for 800 gold. Every point counts. solar panel. Thank you for giving me a solar panel, but 800 gold. I don't have to slit dive, so I can't go down there.
Now, hopefully, Monomon doesn't require dive. That would be awkward. And then I'd have to do some more Hollow Knight. I'm gonna skip a Markov, but Markov is tricky. Apparently there's a grub somewhere around here. Got a fishing level. Got the love key. Uh, just in case I die, I need to get back here. Let's open up the lever down here. I don't have any health. Hopefully we can kill this guy quickly. I was never a fan of this boss. I'm probably gonna die here. Actually... You know what I should do? I should just warp back to... What's it called? City King Station. Heal up and then I can get back here easily. I forgot, I have Quick Focus for like one. Quick Focus is gonna help a little bit more. And do I have anything else for one? Lifeblood Core for one is decent. Sure. This should be a pretty good loadout. But we can make it back to the boss a lot quicker because I got the shortcut. Which is why I didn't mind warping out. this loadout, there's no way I should die to the Collector. Hopefully not. remember but when it's on my left side I gotta keep it on the right side of me Should have done a load of damage to him. 
We got three bases falling now. Which means we're close. Okay, we killed him. Not too bad, not too bad. There I go, okay. And this is four checks at once, which is why I wanted to do this one in specific. We got our left slash, let's go. Finally, we have all four directions. We can finally hit to the left, that's good. We got another shed. We got nauseated. And we got a dagger. Okay, not too shabby. How many do we have to hint now? 15 points, we're about halfway there. What can we do? We can get Retta check. We can do the Abyss. The Abyss is one, two, three, four checks. So let's warp to Basin Toll. Apparently I never got the Hidden Station Bench. Let's take off. Take off Spell Twister right now and put on Lifeblood Heart. This way we should be able to make it into the um, Lifeblood Core room. I believe I have the King's Brand or else I wouldn't be able to... Or this won't show up in Logic. Hi, Hornet. This room required us to have like a certain amount of masks. I don't know how many it is, but that's why I put on my lifeblood charms. here, free relic, free money. Yeah, I need to do quite a few more, like, like almost everything in Hollow Knight for another check, for another hint. And the check was three lifeblood masks, great. Okay, there are a few more checks down in the abyss. And we're almost like getting every single check in Hollow Knight, pretty much. I'm guessing it's gotta be in Stardew, then. I mean, the other two Dreamers were in Stardew, so it makes sense that the third one would be. We got Glittering Boulder removed. We unlocked Panning. We unlocked panning, let's go. Alright, um... Apparently we can get the check that's down here. There's always a spooky room. Are we going to watch the cutscene? 
Do I have to go all the way up here for a pale ore? I have to go through this whole cutscene for a simple pale ore. Oh boy. At least it's a point towards the hint. This is a big hassle. Well, at least for those who aren't familiar with Hollow Knight, you get to see a little bit of lore here. No mind to think, that's me. I am the Hollow Knight. No will to break, that's gonna be me when I do my... Um, perfection... Sitting in one hour, or not one hour, one day, whenever that happens, one of my one day stream. Horn of God and Void, I don't know if that applies to me though. Hollow Knight looked back, which means the Hollow Knight is not completely hollow. <sighs> Yay, we learned that we're the Hollow Knight. Okay, and then there's one more check way to the right of the abyss. These guys attack me, but I have a void heart, so they don't attack me. I am one of them. Oh, I forgot I have left slash now. It's a good thing we can swim, because without swim, I don't know if I would have been able to make it over here. An arcane egg, and... Perhaps we just get Monoman now? That'd be nice. Got the drought. Alrighty. Where else are there checks? Do I have to do every single check remaining now? Hopefully not. I can check the Colosseum real quick. Should I focus Stardew? Maybe I should focus Stardew. Because we have... Twenty-one. Ten more checks, ten more checks. I can do ten more checks. I can do ten more checks. Okay, so... I don't want to do any of the really hard bosses. Junk Pit. If I can make it into the Junk Pit, that would be huge. There's a whole bunch of checks in there. Um, waterways... I have a simple key, so I should be able to make it into waterways. 
Junk Pit has like four or five checks, I believe. Dong Defender as well, probably. I don't have Desolate Dive. Oh, shoot. We need Dive, don't we? Can I do Dong Defender without Dive? I gotta be careful here not to die because I don't have that bench that I normally would. Yeah, we need dive to get to the junk pit, I think. Do we? I have the bench here now. Yeah, I think we must need dive to get into that room. Okay, and I don't want to hint Tesla at dive, though. We can at least do Dung Defender. Yeah, Junk Pit needs Tesla at dive, unfortunately. Oh, dung, dung Defender without Dive is going to be annoying. Most of the early bosses are pretty easy now because of my charms. Got traveling merchant stock size, oh boy. I believe I can get Isma's tier check. do the white defender because uh, I don't have dive. I need dive for that. We might be able to get Isma's tier check. <laughs> love when he says doma doma doma. Yeah, if I do too. I love the noises that the bugs make in Hollow Knight. They're just, it's funny. Still no dive yet, so that's good. I don't need dive yet. I believe I just need right crystal dash. Pretty sure I don't have business tier, right? I do not have business tier. Should be able to get in there the vanilla way, the gauntlet way.
super easy gauntlet with my nail upgrade. It's a grub. Come on now. And I can't get that without Ismus tier. Or can I? No, I need Ismus tier for sure. Okay, um. Dive would unlock so much. Elder Who. We can do Elder Who. We can do. Uh, I don't want to do Soul Tyrant. Geo Chest from the Soul Master. I could do. Traitor Lord. Traitor Lords for two checks. This is such a tough seed. I have to do all these random checks. Green Path. No, not Green. Um, Garden Stag. It's going to be the quickest way. This is one of the toughest seeds I've done. Okay, so for this boss, healing is usually not an option. I need Spell Twister. And what did I have on as my last one? I guess I'll just do Lifeblood Core, give me give myself some extra health. Okay. Oh, have I gotten I can do Marmu, that's what it's called. Maybe we'll get dive and we can get checks quicker. We got another grub. We're getting so many grubs. Uh, I can go get that one grub while I'm here. Trader Lord's only one check though. Do I really want to do a tough boss fight for one check? It's not like an insanely tough fight, but there's a chance I die and then that wastes a lot of time. There's this grub over here that I can get. Not here, but I think up a little bit more. Where are you, grub? Is it this way or this way? Yeah, here it is. Radish seeds, which are good. Seeds are good. Let's go back into Stardew for a second and grow some of this stuff. Um, let's... In summer, I suppose. Need a water break. My big jug. Let's do Forester. Click through this, and then I think there's a few more days of auto sleeping. Okay, we're back. Probably a bunch of junk from the mail. X upgrade, not like we're clearing our farm anytime soon. 
But we do have some seed in the mail to plant in the greenhouse. Broken Tritant. I think that's from the Progressive Dagger. And Radish Seeds. Eh, we don't really need the solar panel, do we? Alright, pumpkin's new. Potato's new. And I can harvest this. Uh, we did not get anything important there, unfortunately. Rice is still growing. But maybe from shipping these things we'll get something new. Go to sleep. Uh, yes, go to sleep. Hello, GG. Hope you're doing well. Um, we still haven't got anything good. I wish I could trade my hint points from Stardew over to Hollow Knight. We've got like 10 hints in Stardew. How are you doing, GG? Hope you're doing well. Got a furnace. And we'll trash that. Okay, so... Is there anything to do in Stardew right now? Or should I go back into Hollow Knight? Let me just take a quick look at, like, Clint and Robin and see if they have Desolate Dive. Or... Um, what's the one we're looking for? Monoman. No, nothing good from Clint. Alright, maybe Robin has it. Store inventory. Nothing good here either, unfortunately. Okay, I guess back into Hollow Knight it is. We have... Okay, there we go. How many more points in towards the uh, blood hint? We've got five more. Five more checks. Five more checks. Okay, so... Greater Lord is an option. Getting this check right here, Vessel Fragment, is doable. Let's go do that. Quick check. And maybe we'll do Trader Lord, I don't know. Is this the right way? Oh no, it's to the right and up. that's out of logic, that grub up there for some reason. I'm not sure why. I don't know what I'm missing. Do I need left crystal heart, perhaps? Or maybe I can do some enemy pogos. I'm taking lots of damage from these guys here. Do I have Dream Gate? Yeah, I do. Um, yeah, I think I need left Crystal Heart. I don't think there's any other way around it. Unless I can pogo off of this guy. Yeah, 
Nope, don't think I can reach that. I need left crystal heart. Yeah, but there should be a check. Oh, it's the other way. I forgot. I need to take, um... The green path route. Okay, so green path. Stone Sanctuary is probably the quickest way to get there. Unless anybody in chat has any idea of any like quick easy checks I can complete. I am just doing what I can. We need five more. Five more checks. And count those on one hand. We're like right there. And then we get the big reveal, find out where Mono Mon was this whole time. Maybe Monomon's right here. Oh, we got the desolate dive. Let's go. Okay, and then junk pit. Junk pit chest. And that's four checks right there. That's so good. Okay, finally. I probably could have gotten that one a lot earlier, too. Waterways. Finally, we have dive. All right, I'll show off dive in a second here. Need some soul, though. That's what dive does. It's like a ground pound. Okay, is this the way to... Chunk pit? No, I think it's down here more. tanking my way through these guys here. It's all gonna be okay. Oh, I forgot they deal double damage. That's so bad. We died in Stardew. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. It's fine. It's all gonna be fine. I can rush back there real quick. Waterways just has like such an enemy spam. Maybe I should actually kill the enemies and not die this time. I already lost all my lifeblood protection. This time I won't fall for the trick of the bird. And then water or um junk pit is through this way. Always a big room to navigate, it's always confusing. Those guys deal double damage. I can 
not take another hit from those big guys. Because they deal two damage and I had two health. Alright, here's here we go. We're here. We're safe. We reached the holy land. The destined destined land of the junk pit. Okay, vampire ring. Where's the other chests up here? We got a mask shard. Got a jinxed trap. And the earth obelisk. Now we can hint Monomon and hopefully beat the game. Hint Monomon. Soul Master. Oh, hold on. Geo Chest Soul Master. That's easy. That's so easy. <laughs> Um, city storeroom or toll? Probably toll. That's such an easy check. That's not Soul Tyrant. That's the one right there. We can get that right away. Well, I feel like my three hints were a waste and we could have done this a lot quicker, but oh well, it is what it is. Happened to be like the one location I didn't check. I believe we've killed Soul Master. So it should just be walking over there. But we probably didn't have Claw last time, which is why we didn't get that check. Yeah, in the waterway, the the sound effects can be quite interesting. Take in the Monoman. That's the Geo Chest from Soul Master. I don't think I need a dive though. Dive for the grub, but for the that chest, no, I don't need it. But I am happy that I found dive because it made getting that quicker. All right, we have Monoman. Time to beat the game. All right, we should be able to break into the temple now. We're gonna get siblings ending or no because yeah because i've got void heart i'm not gonna fight radiance yeah it was claw that i needed for that all right hollow knight we are here to challenge you to a duel because i am the true hollow knight we can actually use dive now in our battle. Hollow Knight stabs um, himself there. Sometimes I feel bad for the poor guy. He's all infected. Oh, I died. I did not know I was that low on health there. I was just kind of spamming my spells there and thought I'd be fine. Alright, take two.
dropped it. Better start this time already. Haven't taken any hits yet. Alright, there's my first hit. As long as I keep using dive, we get invincibility frames while using dive, which is huge. Unfortunately, our Dream Nail is not powerful enough to summon the Radiance. Get the right? We don't have three Dream Nails, do we? We do? We have three Dream Nails? I'm gonna kill the Radiance? <laughs> well, I guess we're fighting the Radiance. That's kind of crazy. I mean, I did get like 90% of the checks from a Hollow Knight, didn't I? Oh boy, can I... Oh, I don't know if I can kill the Radiance. The Radiance is tricky. The Radiance is scary. Ugh. Nah, Radiance is doable. We got a full heal. Radiance does deal double damage, however. here, aren't we? This is a good time to heal up. Or not. It's a good time to die. Okay, we should be able to, like, nearly full heal here. This phase is the tricky phase. But we got fully healed. I keep freaking I can use dive. We have the climbing phase. I just can't get hit. Oh, my heart is beating. Okay, we did it. Woo, that was a stressful fight there. We just thankfully deal damage quick enough, I guess. Well, <laughs> I guess I could have made the goal Radiance for Hollow Knight. Watch us now fail because I fought the Radiance instead of killing the Hollow Knight. I was supposed to kill the Hollow Knight. I think I have like any ending as the goal. Oh yeah, shade, Radiance and without Shade Dash, that's tough, that's tough.
Hooray! I think we won. I'm gonna skip the rest of the cutscene. Alright, I want to see those checks get sent out. Yep, Dia has completed their goal. Let's go! Alright, so... Hollow Knight can stay on the main menu in there. Release. Alright. We released, so we should be able to get a bunch of stuff in Stardew now. Let's go over there. Cap, are you awake? Easy now, take it slow. Of course, I lose my Yeti tooth. We can get a new weapon. We can probably get a better club now. Monster's trap. <laughs> Alright, let's sleep to get rid of these traps. Apparently we got a progressive movie theater. All right, so now we just hint everything that is left, I suppose. Got the cudgel. That's a nice weapon, better than my sword. We got bok choy seeds. I've already grown a bok choy. That was one of one of them I got from the traveling cart. Got the galaxy dagger. I don't really want the galaxy dagger. Got 10,000 gold. Steel Falcon. Probably better than the cudgel. Nah, I'm gonna keep the cudgel. Crash all this stuff. Iridium watering can. However, the Dragon Tooth Cutlass probably does more damage than the thing, so let's just keep both of them. I don't think I'm going to be doing much mining anyway, but Skull Cavern is going to get a few new checks, so maybe we'll go there. Alright, Hot Pepper is a new crop. So many trees, I know, I know. Oh, we got a Benjamin Button Trap, apparently. Got a fishing level from harvesting the rhubarb. Now we have to ship the rhubarb. So many trees. Hello, one love. Hope you're doing well. Okay, so I've got the hot pepper growing. What else do we have? Tea leaf from Caroline. Do I have two hearts with Caroline? I do. We still need... I mean, we don't need to complete the bundles, actually. Um, and I really don't have Ancient Siege, which is unfortunate. Yep, no Ancient Siege, unfortunately. So we're gonna have to get the Ancient Siege vanilla, which is quite annoying. I don't know if it's better to grind them in the mines, or if it's better to just, like... Ooh, we got the galaxy hammer. Nice. Don't need that or that. Inflation trap. Inflation trap. Is the rice ready for harvest yet? No, it's still growing. Radishes, iridium band. I gotta ship all this junk. Okay, I believe Amaranth is something that I don't have. Artichoke, Amaranth. Oh, Fiddlehead Fern is Secret Wood Summer. Let's go check for that. At least I have my path here to let me, you know, actually be able to traverse my farm. Fiddlehead Fern. Um, Amaranth Seeds. Ooh. 
Legendary fish bundle. Oh boy. That one will be fun. I should have brought the thing for cannoli here. Let me just chop this stump now. Lots and lots of fiddlehead ferns here, okay. And then artichoke seeds. Is that shipping a pomegranate? Have I shipped a pomegranate or shipped an artichoke? Oh, the seed must have got like lost to like a shuffle trap or something. Not a shuffle trap, but like it must have been accidentally shipped. Do I appear as missing stock list? Let me get a gold star grape real quick. They're all silver, come on. He's not even running his counter right now. We'll come back at the end of the season when Caroline is doing her thing. I still need one more gold star grape. That's a regular star. Or no star, I should say. There's some grapes there. One of them's gotta be gold. There's the gold star. Alright, well, we can complete two bundles here. And we need that legendary fish bundle. Um, I guess mutant carp is the easiest. What fishing level am I? Fishing level 9. Oh, fishing level 9. Yeah, I can do any of them pretty much. Let's complete these bundles first. Quality crops with the five grapes. We got a pickaxe upgrade. Rare crops, got a forging level. All right, can I, do I have the rusty key? That's the question. I do have a rusty key, so I should be able to catch the legendary fish pretty easily. A legendary fish there. I do have bait, so at least it'll go a little bit quicker, hopefully. don't care about carp, so I'm just going to escape if it's not the legendary fish. Here it is. One should be fairly easy. Although it's giving me quite some trouble here, isn't it? This is the hardest mutant carp I've ever caught. They're usually not that hard. Come on, mutant carp. What is with this? Where's Angelina? I need some fish behave right about now. Oh, 
Finally, wow, we got a mine elevator. I'll take it straight over to the bundle. That was one feisty mutant carp. We got our amaranth seeds. Alright, I think I need to sleep another week for like the 21st is when we can start getting tea leaves from Caroline. Because tea leaves is another thing I need. Got the slime hutch. And we're still getting stuff for Hollow Knight because I didn't collect over there, which is fine. I think just doing the release is what I wanted to do. Iridium band, although that burglar's ring is probably better. But I'm gonna have to grind that ancient seed out. Parsnip. I've already shipped a parsnip, haven't I? And grown one. And it looks like I've already shipped rice as well. I don't know if it's the, I think maybe the 22nd is when I can start getting tea leaves from Caroline's Tea House. Let's try one more day. While I'm here, I do have the missing stock list and I can buy artichoke. Or maybe it was when I got the crow's trap that went away. I could have just done grape starters this whole time. Have I shipped everything else? We need chanterelle, which is fall. We need yam. Do I have yam seeds? Don't have yam seed. Let's hint yam seed. Harvesting a green bean. Do I have green beans? I don't have green bean. Hint um, bean starter. Tea leaves, which I'm about to do. Okay, interesting. Steel Caroline's tea leaf. Start growing the artichoke. And sleep. There's our bean starter. Grow that as soon as possible. Should, um, one more day, one more day, and then we get it from the mail. All right, and then we sleep until. Fall, I think. Need the chanterelle. The chanterelle is fall, right? I believe. I shipped a red mushroom, I shipped a purple mushroom. We gotta go to fall. Let's 
sleep till Saturday for the best chance of forgeables from the forest. Just want to double check I was done with cart checks. Okay, it is Saturday. Our trees are spreading. Yeah, at least as GB1 Reinwald mentioned earlier, they're all organized. All the pine trees are together, all the maple trees are together, all the oak trees are together. They're organized. You can't call them that messy. Alright, here's one. All we need is one. Got some boss essence for Hollow Knight, but we're done with Hollow Knight, so anytime we get something for Hollow Knight, it's just useless now. Alright, what else is there? We're working on the yam seed and green bean. We're working on the artichoke and amaranth. Hops. Hop starter. Hop starter's found, so I'm gonna have to go back to Pier and buy a new one. <laughs> Very aesthetic indeed. Okay. Um, hop starter. Oh, that crow's trap, I bet that messed me up. Weakness trap and yam seeds. Yam seeds are good, that's something we need. And apparently I've harvested an artichoke, but I guess I haven't... No, I've shipped an artichoke. What, what is that one that I'm missing then? Oh, is that the ostrich egg? Ostrich egg I can't do. Yeah, it's ostrich egg, I think. Okay, I can see what is left in a second. I want the get the yam seeds in a second here. I can do missing. We need to ship a rainbow shell. Oh, that's why I was probably in summer, wasn't it? For a rainbow shell as well. Could have gotten that a while ago. Okay, we're gonna have to sleep through a bunch of fall anyway for that. Oh, the ancient fruit. Ancient fruit is gonna be annoying. That's gonna be a troublesome one. Alright, ancient fruit, hops, yam, rainbow shell, coffee bean. We've got everything except for ancient fruit, basically. So yeah, we need to, I guess, grind at the mines is going to be the easiest way, unless I can somehow get lucky from the seed maker. Like, I don't know, I can put like the tomatoes and stuff in the seed maker. Salubra's blessing is something for Hollow Knight. Alright, so let me ship the coffee bean. And everything else I'm going to turn into seeds and hopefully get ancient seeds. Although the chances that for ancient seeds from that are not great. So I think I'd rather go to the mines and grind with the burglar's ring especially. Let me see if I can quickly get the fortune teller and do this on a bad luck day. Oh, we even got the fortune teller. Neutral day. If I do it on a bad luck day when more enemies spawn, I think that's the best thing to do. Apparently we have a horse flute now. 
Don't know why I've been keeping that garden pot on me. We got living off the land. Alright, so the last thing is really just grinding out this ancient seed, I think. No, not a super... Or does Super Luck Day affect drop rates? Maybe it does. Does anybody in chat know if the luck affects enemy drop rates? For like an Ancient Seed, for example? Fat Luck Day is good enough for decreased enemy spawns. Or for increased enemy spawns. Too bad no Monster Musk. Alright, mines, we're just gonna go from floor five and hopefully get an ancient seed right away. Nope. We go from floor five to fifteen to twenty-five. And then reset. Eventually, I should get it. I wonder if artifact spots in winter are better. Let me look up the chances. Stardew Ancient Seed. Apparently if we use the Seed Maker, there's a 0.5% chance to obtain one packet of Ancient Seeds. So maybe that's the best way to do it, actually. Let's let's try that. I think that's going to be quicker. We just need to skip over time. And hopefully we see an ancient seed come through. Got yeah, mixed seeds. Can hops go through the seed maker? If hops can, I'm just gonna buy a bunch of hops and fill my space with hops. I guess we'll find out. Oh, I need to pass time like this. In starter can, hop starter can. Okay, cool. Let's just buy a bunch of hops because they grow back every day. And that's probably the easiest way to just like spam the seed maker. Can I craft more seed makers? Farm level 7, so I can't craft more seed makers, unfortunately. I just got the one. Okay, so hops. Just buy like 50 of them. Thank you. 
Hopefully I don't kill anything that I need to be growing. Okay, I think I can reach all of them like that. I've never grown this many hops before. Okay, right, that'll do. And they take 11 days to grow at first. So let's auto sleep for 12. I think this is the move. Yeah, auto made and gold clock. Yep. Yeah. Automated and gold clock will hopefully be the quickest way to do this. It's a 0.5% chance. Alright, summer we still need the rainbow shell from. Almost at 10 hours. Not this stream, but 10 hours total. Too bad we can't automate harp hops harvesting. ship with other stuff. All this junk we can also process in here. All of these seeds here we can just trash. Alright, ancient seed, here we come. We need a better path to our clock. Our forest is really grown, but we're almost done. We just need the ancient seed. Just need the ancient seed. All right, gold clock. Let's go. Can we get what we're looking for? And I passed out. That's okay. We got cactus seeds, although he shipped a cactus fruit. Still nothing. Still nothing. Can somebody verify if hops can actually turn into an ancient seed? Like, does it have a chance? It should, because I think it's, I mean, it's just like, it's a little bit different of a crop, but I feel like it should be the same thing. Hops than our seed maker can handle. And we pass out to AIM again. I mean, this definitely seems like the most efficient way to do this. On average, we need to cycle through 200 hops, right? Oh, there's the ancient seed. Look at that. Let's go. 
All right, ancient fruit takes 28 days to grow. We still need a rainbow shell, so let's go check the farm. All right, we got the ancient seed. We're, we're in go mode now, like officially. Official go mode. We just need that rainbow shell. Now it's definitely quicker than grinding in the mines. No rainbow shell. I guess crab mating season will help. It's like, what, uh, day 12, so another week should do. And then we have... Yam. Am I still growing that yam? Did I accidentally destroy the yam? Oh no, here's the yam. Okay, we're good. Alright, shift the yam. Let's check the beach today. Still no rainbow shell. Not even over on this side. Level nine foraging. Okay, we're gonna sleep one day and go back while it's still crab mating season. Yep, we finished Hollow Knight, Benny. All we need now is... All we need now is to ship a rainbow shell and ancient fruit. Ancient fruit is growing in the greenhouse. And we're just resetting for the rainbow shell now. So we're pretty much go-go mode. The goest of the go modes. Except for the trees are stopping me. Can I finish before the trees overtake my entire farm? I think they already have, but... My paths are holding strong. Rainbow shells are so hard to find when you want one. The forger bowls are going to reset, so no reason to pick those up. All right, let's try today, because the forgeables reset. <laughs> yeah, it was overtaken quite a while ago, I will admit. Still no rainbow shell. Alright, let's sleep six days for Saturday. And the ancient fruit should be growing. So many trees. Really? Still no rainbow shell? Alright, another week, I suppose. We need to sleep for that um, ancient fruit anyway. We'll get it one of these days here. Yeah. 
Maybe it's in the mail from Demetrius. I don't think I'm auto-petting him, though. Beach farm can farm spawn a rainbow shell? Oh. Well, the problem, one love, is... I can't really navigate my farm now, can I? And there's not really spots for things to spawn. What? Three rainbow shells! <laughs> Three rainbow shells in one day. Okay, there we go. It gave us more than enough. Okay, and then I think like another week for the ancient fruit. Doesn't matter what season we start in. Let's go to winter so we can kill all of our grass. All right, we got the rainbow shell. Now we just wait for the ancient fruit. Woo. Look at how crazy the farm looks. Look at all these trees. All right, harvest the ancient fruit and we ship it. Chip the ancient fruit. Go to bed. And what are we missing? We have completed our goal. Hooray! Cap has completed their goal. Alright, so that concludes it then. I wonder if we can get a bunch of bombs and blow up all these trees. I don't think we have enough money to buy that many bombs though we'll let the trees set um sit and live well now they're dead because it's winter but look at all these trees it's crazy all right thanks everybody for stopping in the stream today hope you have a good rest of your day night morning whatever time it may be for you one love you have a new file on the beach farm and i always get a rainbow shell right above your farmhouse on that little spot ah well that's lucky i guess a little easy way to get a quick rainbow shell all righty that wraps it up for this one. I might make this one into a video because I do like the concept of mixing Hollow Knight and Stardew, but we'll see about that. I've got a lot on my plate right now, but